This is one of the meals that is fairly typical of our cabin stays. Come along. We have barbecue ribs. Mmm, I can't wait. I can already taste it. <laughs> we have cornbread. Just make sure they're warm inside. This is a very popular dish in Idaho, Utah region. They are called funeral potatoes because they are typically served at funerals. And corn on the cup. These potatoes are dedicated to all those that gave their lives for this dish. Stelly wants the party started. Grandpa. Party hardy. Yeah, you're a party hardy. Jumpy's done in the fire. Jumpy's You know, mommy grew up every summer coming here from when I was four years old. This is a special place for me. And you know, your daddy and I got married here? Mm -hmm. Did you? We, we got married here. I because it's married. such a special place for mommy, I wanted to be married here, and now it's even more special. Cool, huh? Even more special. And lots of memories have been made up here, with me and my grandparents, both sets of grandparents. <laughs> Who's your dawn fishes? My grandfishes? My grandma and grandpa Wada, and my grandma and grandpa Aoyagi. They're fishing off the dock together, going on the boat fishing. Learned how to water ski when I was a little older than you. Making so many s'mores, probably like a thousand s'mores I've made here. And I probably caught like a thousand fish too, and they were all at least seven pounds. But you don't mount a lie, lady. A little bit wider. Father and son lounging. Grandpa puts the hot coals down so that it can cook the marshmallow just right. Roast the marshmallow. Are those glow in the dark balloons? Auntie's hooking it up. Look at these glow in the dark balloons and bracelets. We're going to have a, a real party. Oh yeah. Do you see that marshmallow? No. That is what you call a perfectly toasted yeah. marshmallow. Is that your second one? I said one. I feel like a little fall. Grandpa's talking. Hey everybody. Lizzie's gonna play us a number on her violin. Oh. Okay, what different song? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a song about Christmas. <laughs> Happy 4th of July! Yay! Stelly, look at this little girl with her Uncle Sam hat. Look at that. 
Captain American shield. That's cool. Look at this one. That's cute. Good idea. Hi, Captain America. Let's go, go get it. Hi. Happy for get the Skittles. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Competing with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Island Park 4th of July Parade. Oh, we're not even done. We got a couple more bikes to come. Look, there's a piece right here. Wow, how fun is that, Stella? Stella, look by Grandma. Look by Grandma. So she loves this. She's never done anything like this before. Candy raining from the sky. Smoke bomb action all up in here. Let's watch out, sweetie. They're coming down the road. Bye! Bye! See you! <laughs> he left with a band-aid on his chin. Bye! Mark has a band-aid on his chin because he got hit by a firecracker. They were, they were uh, lighting firecrackers and one flew up and hit him in the chin. Cut him. How much candy did you get? I got a million Jillian. <laughs> oh my goodness. You did. Oh, cotton candy stand. One dollar for that huge thing? That's what I told her. She should wow, charge like you should charge like five bucks. Well, okay, okay let's sorry. Not get crazy. Sorry. Okay, wait, let me and after we buy ours, you should charge five bucks. Look what we got. Cotton candy, one dollar each. Wow, yum, lots of cavities. We're trying to blow up a dead fish. Where'd you find the dead fish? By a rock. Like a full-blown fish? Yeah, oh, there's a hole in it. I want to blow up the dead fish. Where's this fish? I don't see it anywhere. In the rock, all the way over. Oh, Ooh, it is stanky down here. Oh, dude, that fish is nasty. It's so old. I thought you meant like a fish floating in the water. Mm -mm. Brian, have you seen the fish they're talking about? It's been exposed to the sun for at least well, a week. The fish Dude, when the fish chunks fly, it'll be even more exciting. Ideally, that is disgust. Is this M1000 gonna like potentially blow your arm off? No, no. Are you gonna be able to run away from this before it like explodes in your face? No, no, no I'm not gonna get that close. I'm oh. Well, where's the dead fish? Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> How close are you gonna get to Dude, it? Right? I can't wait for someone to get nasty fish I all over them. To stuff I just want it. it to spray. I can toss it down there if someone gives me a name. No, stuff it inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having the M1000s in their pockets. That pocket. seems hard as a rock! Here. I'm sure it's filled with maggots. Ew, what if a maggot landed on Ew, your Ew, maggots mouth? and then an open mouth and laid eggs in your mouth. Here. You know there's a mag girl that had a magnet crawl into her ear and lay eggs in her head? That's like a thousand urban myths. Yeah. No, no. Close your ears. Okay. Uh, dude, you gotta open up the fish and get it inside. so foul though, you guys. There's a hole in the fish head! <laughs> I'd laugh so hard if that thing threw chunks. I don't think it's going to if it's that hard. Lift it up, lift it up, hurry, just do it, just do it. Oh, that's maggots. That's <laughs> <laughs> there are little things inside. It's called maggots, dude. We are well familiar with maggots. The incident of the dead bunny in our basement in 19, what, 90? Oh, yeah, you got it right on it. Dude. You got it. Nothing, Nothing now. Brian went far away up on the bank. <laughs> Smart. Oh no. Uncle Brian, be careful. No. Go, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Ah. Did you do anything? Barely. Oh, Gosh dang this dumb fish. America. Let's blow up some fish. America. Oh, that's pretty. They're making all these burgers. Chris, Uncle Chris always makes the best burgers. Best burgers in town. Yeah. Just exactly Oof. right here. Oh, yeah. How's the watermelon, Kenzo? Flipping burgers. That's some heat. This is what I should be doing with my life. 
What are we doing now, Anne? Putting on um, something our family can't live without, Montreal steak seasoning. We'll put it on our burgers, on our steaks. Put it on our skin at night. And that's how it's done. Wakeboarding time! Woo! Chris is going first. Now that we're getting old, we make it once a year and it hurts. Chris just said he's already out of breath, just putting the boots on. Dude, come on, old man. So is it true that you guys used to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and dry dock start? Every morning when we were here, we were like fanatics. Water skiing fanatics. Your dad was like real hardcore. We were all real hardcore. And now we're sort of like wimpy buns. I can imagine my dad trying to do that and falling on his face. We all fell on our face lots of times. You know what's happening right now? Dad's queuing up some sweet tunes for you. Oh, wow. July dinner and we're having coleslaw, delicious fillet, biscuits. Not really, it's just potato salad and that stuff. <laughs> right now we are all camped out down at the landing waiting for the boat regatta which comes by first which is basically a parade of boats. We've been waiting here for a really long time and only one boat came by with a flag so we're wondering if the boat regatta has petered out through the years. And then at 10 p.m. they will have the annual fireworks show, which is actually really good. But i um, still waiting on the boat regatta. Come on, regatta! Here come the boats in for the fireworks show. They're all getting their spot on the lake. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. I don't want to go back to Hong Kong. All the boats lined up waiting. I think somebody's pre-partying over there with those fireworks. Oh, Lee, of course Lee Greenwood. We haven't heard him yet today. No doubt I love this land. <laughs> Mom made her popcorn. Delicious popcorn. And I'm proud to be an American. But at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died who gave that right to me and I gladly stand whoop next to you I love this land Evan are you really still wearing those Whoa, glasses? You scared me I didn't see that uh, eating hot Cheetos wearing 3D glasses who I'm, are you? I'm like Hey guys! That looks like a nice place. Hi! Oh, cute with the blankies. This is so weird. Here's the boat regatta. Finally, we missed the minions came. It's like a boat 
parade on 4th of July. Look, there's a pirate ship. I wanna like just one of the most unique things. You should blog about this place. I mean, seriously. I'm just gonna live at the cabin for the rest of my life. And I'll just jet ski around the island. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be that weird woman that every morning just jet skiing around. <laughs> <It's all wild. laughs> yeah. I never leave, I'll never leave the island. Yeah. The only place I shop is that gas station called Elk Creek down the street. I live off live off Twix bars and beef jerky. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Who's playing Amazing Grace? Backpack style. Who's playing this season? Who loves America? You do? Let me hear you. How much do you love America? I can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Now, who wants to see some fireworks? They have swings in the backyard too. Swing and roll around. By the playground. By the playground around. In the backyard, you know. Out. <laughs> Out. Yeah. Pump! Please? Come here, Andrew, we dare you. To do what? To get hit in the face on video? What? You see them, Stelly? Come take a look. These are crawdads. We used to spend all night trying to catch these with nets and fish guts in a flashlight. And then I think either these fish jumped out or somebody helped them out. I'm the doll, I'm the doll. Just look, stick your head in there. Stick your head closer so you can see they're like little baby lobsters. They're already dead. But don't be cruel. Oh, well, the minnows are fine, but don't be cruel to the things that are living. Yeah, if they're dead, oh well. How did they die? Did they jump out or did you guys pull them out? Jack pulled them out after it died. Yeah, because they saw both of them belly up. Oh, so they were already dead. Promise? Oh, yeah, they were belly really up them? floating around. Okay, we're going to have a crawdad, we get crawdad race. The dead minnows are the finish line, and that big daddy looks like he's pretty aggressive. Like, he might be one of the top contenders. What happened there? He got the, he got the finish line. He picked it up. He's like, I'm victorious. <laughs> this is my trophy. He's trying to eat. Wait, they're fighting over this. The minnows? No way. This is gladiator. Look at him. They're trying to get to the water. They sense the water. Make them land. This what guy's just going to back up easy. One. He's like, maybe if I juice back out of the party, they won't notice. I am the king of the crawdads of Island Park. Listen. Hey, hands off. Hands off, I said. <laughs> I'm trying to Evan. make a speech here. Jeff! Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Did he get pinched? He get pinched? He's like, that's what you get. Ow. Let's put him back in the water, you guys. Going on a family four wheel ride. My brothers and my sister and their families left. So it's mom and dad and Evan and Stella and me. We're going on a four wheeler ride. Hey. Came to eat 
dinner at a new spot called Connie's. It's like it's a popular little spot. Connie. <laughs> This is a cool purse. <laughs> Mark.